Hello viewers, welcome to Elimu TV, whereby we are going to interact and learn together. We are going to have um, biology from 3, lesson 8, whereby your tutor will be me, Mr. Gerald. We are going to handle the topic on uh, classification 2 under the subtopic uh, phylum called data. But before that, we can have the following lesson goals, whereby you will be required by the end of the lesson um, to give the characteristics of phylum uh, called data. Uh, in this phylum, uh, we have got class Amphibia. So now we are going to discuss about the class, the classes which fall under the um, phylum Codata. So the first class here we are, uh, is being represented by the class Amphibia. Uh, these amphibians actually include the newts, the salamanders, the frogs, and the toads. We can have a diagrammatic representation of the same, whereby our first diagram there we have the newt, we have got the salamander, and also we have got the frog. So I am going to discuss the general characteristics of these amphibians and as I say I am discussing them, let us try to observe whether we shall be able to get them from our diagram. The first characteristic is that they have four well-developed limbs. Uh, the hind limbs are longer and more muscular than the four limbs. The limbs can be used for movement on land and swimming in water. Uh, we got, that one we are able uh, to clearly see it from our diagrams, which are on our screen. Two, they have double circulatory system. That is, the blood passes through the arteries in a complete circuit uh, through the body. The third characteristic is that they have a three-chambered heart with uh, two artery and only one ventricle. We are another characteristic is that they breathe in water and vitalization is external. Remember that these amphibians normally live in water, but now their vitalization they do it outside the water. And we can have another char characteristic whereby we can say. Gaseous exchange is through uh, three body, uh, three um, um, uh, places. That is the skin, the gills, and also the lungs. Another characteristic is that they have two eyes and an um, and an eardrum behind the eyes. This one is clearly seen from our um, diagram, which are on our screen. We have uh, the last but not the least. We have um, the ectodermic. That is to mean uh, their body temperature changes with that of the surrounding. Um, having done and said that, we can have our second class, uh, which is the class Reptilian. We have got some several um, uh, examples of the reptiles, whereby the first uh, we can have the snake, we can have the second one as the crocodile, and uh, we have the third one as our turtle. So as I'm going to give the general characteristics, you can look at the, our diagrams so that you may be able to um, identify those characteristics from them. The first characteristic is that um, the body is covered with a dry scaly skin which reduces desiccation. Whereby the desiccation can be uh, said is the drying up. The second uh, one is that some have no limbs like the snakes while the others have four limbs, e.g. the chameleons and the crocodiles as you can see uh, from our diagram. Fertilization in reptiles is internal and uh, they lay eggs which are covered with a leathery shell which reduces desiccation or drying up. These eggs are usually buried in soil and have stored yolk. Some reptiles, for example a certain species of chameleon, retain fertilized eggs within the oviduct and give birth to live young ones. Our fourth characteristic is that they have a double circulatory system. The heart has three chambers into atria and are partially divided into, uh, partially divided into uh, ventricles. However, the cro crocodiles have a four-chambered heart. So that is, the only crocodile are the ones which have got four chambers. The others have got three chambers. The fifth characteristic is that they have well developed lungs for gaseous exchange, eliminating the need to use the skin or the mouth for gaseous exchange. The last but not the least is that the ectodermic, that is their body um, temperature varies with that of the surrounding. We can have our last class, whereby here we are going to have the class apes. And the, this class comprises the bats, actually. And we can have uh, some examples of um, birds, whereby the examples of birds we can have um, the chicken, we have the dove, we have the weaver birds, we can have hawks, eagles, and the turkey. So now we are going to discuss the general characteristics of all the birds, whereby one we can say their bodies are covered with feathers uh, for insulation and flight, they have beaks, the third one is that they have hollow bones. We have another one uh, that uh, their sternum is enlarged to form a kill for attachment of light muscles. We can, um, another character characteristic is that the hind limbs are for walking or swimming. The four limbs are modified into wings for flight. However, some birds cannot fly, e.g. we have the ostrich and the emu. 
Uh, the sixth uh, characteristic is that the, um, the end limbs have a scaly skin. Uh, we can have, they have lungs for gaseous exchange, whereby the lungs have gorilla sacs, which store air. The air in the sacs helps in lowering the body density for flight. Uh, another characteristic is that they are endothermic, that is to mean their body temperature does not vary with that of the surrounding. Fertilization is internal, that is they lay yolky eggs which are uh, with calcareous uh, shells. They have an internal auditory meters. Having done and um, said that, we can have the following um, activity whereby you will be required to identify the general characteristics of the amphibians. Uh, for more information uh, in this um, lesson, you can refer to KLB, Secondary Biology Student Book 3, which is the fourth edition um, verified by the Kenya Literature Bureau. We can, for this and many more, you can contact us by sending us an SMS with the number that is appearing on our screen, or you subscribe to our YouTube channel, which is Elimu TV, or our Facebook page, which is also Elimu TV, or you tweet us at Elimu TV underscore Kenya. Let us subscribe to all these channels so that we can have this lesson, many more of our biology lessons. Let us enjoy together.